Welcome to the tutorial, First Steps in the Open EMM. Today we will show you how to optimally set up your Open EMM. Further information about the individual topics can be found in separate videos or by using our online help. Let's get started with your mailing list. Recipient permissions such as subscriptions and unsubscriptions are stored here and correspond to your distribution list. You can rename the list or add a more specific description. As a rule, one or two lists are sufficient. The next step is to create an admin recipient. Those are required in order to display a preview or to execute a test mailing. Insert all relevant information and choose admin recipient. Select all required channels for your mailing list and confirm with save. Important. New software users are not automatically added to the mailing list or marked as admin recipients. You can add test recipients and create individual profile fields at any time. For legal reasons, you need an unsubscribe form. The Agnitas website offers you two pre-made forms to download. Insert your logo, address, and your imprint into both of them and save your changes. If you wish, you can further customize the form or embed it into your website. In order to send mailings, your recipients must be imported once. For this, you need a CSV file that contains the most important master data. It is advantageous for you to fill in as many fields as possible. That way, you can greet your recipients personally. However, an email address is sufficient. Please make sure that you only import addresses with the required permission. The import wizard will guide you through the import step by step. In the first step, you can customize different file configurations. In step 2, leave everything as it is for the first import. In the next step, the column headers of the CSV file are assigned to the matching profile fields. Step 4 is taken over one to one. In step 5, you see an overview of your assignments, plus additional options and a preview of the first data records. Is everything correct? Great! Then we can continue with step 6, an error analysis of your data records. In step 7, select the mailing list to which you want to import your recipients. And now the import is done. In the success log, you can see the number of imported data records. The new addresses can now be found under recipient. Congratulations! Your Open EMM is all set up and ready to use. In the next video, we will show you how to create a mailing.